welcome back to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a perfect finishing with your crinoline on the hem of your dresses. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. So I'm going to show you how to turn how to use your crinoline to turn the down of your dinner dresses, your skirts whatever even children dresses so the crinoline that i'm making use of is three inches so you have different types of crinoline in the market so this is a is a little bit thick it's not the lightest one this is like the medium one so it depends on how thick it is that's what will give it the effect but if you are making using fabrics that are not too thick i will not advise for you to use the crinoline that is too thick if not it's not going to balance properly Okay, so if you are new to the channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Please like this video also. I would really appreciate if you would do that. Okay, so now let's move over to our sewing machine because this is a strictly sewing video. So if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. Okay. Okay guys, so we're going to start stitching now. So this is my crinoline on my hand and then this is the right side of my fabric. Oh, that's the dress. This is the right side. So I'm going to place my crinoline like this. I'm just going to leave like about a quarter of an inch on the down parts and then I'm going to start stitching. I hope you can see it. And note, as I stitch, I'm not going to pull my crinoline. I'm just stitching it. So this is what I'm saying. So I left just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch there. I get to the, the end I'm just going to cut off I'm cutting off like that so you can see what we have mm -hmm. so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to bend our crinoline in the box so I'm going to use I'm going to do that from this other side so you see our crinoline so if you have any excess you can trim off And just go ahead and trim the off and then I'm going to come in like this so for you to achieve that neat finishing I'm going to take it like this and then I'm going to do a top stitch on it so you can see it is looking neat so you just make sure you are not still pulling I'm going to go ahead just make it no, don't rush it, just take it easily. Place it nicely like this. Make sure you use the same allowance. Okay, guys, so you can see what we have here on the right side. 
So for it to have that bulky nature, I'm still going to secure it down. So I'm going to show you. So in securing it down, this you need a really stable hands for you to do this. So it's better to do it from the right side. So you'll be able to, to make sure that your stitch is straight. I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to start stitching it down. So you see what I have to see it's looking beautiful. Just continue like that. Okay guys, so you can see how beautiful it is looking. So you see the hem. So when you see most of those dresses, once you they are standing like this, so you see how beautiful it is looking. So the next thing is just for me to iron it. That's all. And then I'll join the back of the dress. So you can do this if it is a full flare. You can do it or you can open it up on the side like this, like mine. And then once you are done, you join it back on the hem the back hem so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please i'll appreciate if you hit on the like button please subscribe if you have not done so already thank you so much i'll see you in my next video